Uh, you were able to uh, run the ball pretty well uh, last week. How did you feel about the, the, the line play in general? Uh, overall, I thought it was good. Uh, I mean, both offensive and defensively. Uh, offensively, we were, we were able to establish a run game. Um, and it opened up the pass for us. Um, defensively, I thought we played good. We held them to um, a minimal amount of rushing yards um, and then made them one dimensional, made them throw the ball. So, you know, I thought overall it was, it was really good. Matt, we got, we got to talk about the, the weather delay a little bit. Just as a team, like, how do you guys even deal with almost six hours of delays? What did you do in the locker room? How did you just kind of walk us through that a little bit? You know, it was kind of tough. Obviously, we went out there, um, warmed up. Went back in the locker room, um, kind of said our last remarks, and then went and right when we were about to go out there, we kind of got delayed, uh, and came back in, um, waited a couple hours, went back out there, played a quarter, and then came back in for six hours. So it was it was tough. I've never really like dealt with a situation like that. Um, but guys, you know, when we when we were in there for six seven hours, you know, they stayed locked in. Um, everybody was itching, you know, to go back out there and play. Um, so I thought that was great. And when we came out, you know, everyone was excited that we were able to start playing again. And then, you know, kind of that energy that we stored up, you know, came out to life and we, and we jumped out to a good start for us. So, you know, a lot of the guys just try to stay locked in, you know, you know, get some food in you um, and, you know, stay relaxed. Um, and, and then we came out and had a good start. So that second lightning delay seemed like it took forever. And so much had changed basically inside the stadium since the game began, yeah. uh, there was a decent crowd there. There was, you know, lots of energy and that sort of thing. When you came out at 9.30, uh, it wasn't, you know, there was very few people in the stands. The band wasn't there. There was, you know, I don't think concessions was open. But when you guys came out and it was almost, you know, happens, it was total happenstance, but UMass fired up the PA system and had it on really loud. And I look down, and the entire team, Miami team, is down there dancing. Yeah. Yeah, tell me about that and, and the energy that it brought and maybe just a relief that you're going to play football. Yeah, no, it was huge. I mean, like I said, we were all excited in the locker room to come out and, and play, and, and it showed. You know, they turned on some music, and we, and we all got excited. And I thought that was huge for our team, you know, especially after a, such a long delay. I thought bringing that energy and having that passion about being able to you know, step on the field and play play a game, and we were ready for it. I thought it was awesome, and you know, obviously it led to a great start for us. And I thought it was just overall awesome for our team. And you know, it was super uh, awesome to to see us, you know, jumping around and having fun. How's your dance steps? Eh, I didn't really dance. You know? <laughs> I'm not I'm not the biggest dancer, but you know, I'll do a little bit to get excited. So you come out of that second delay, you see the 99 yard touchdown, and then Caden forces the fumble, and you fall on it. Uh, on the end zone. So what's that first play like on the sideline and then the second play like uh, on the field? What's the atmosphere like around it's the team? Just, it's just a huge momentum uh, kickstarter for our, for, our, for our team in general. You know, going 99 yards, they, we knew that we were going to have to drive the ball for our offense and um, they, they were able to score points um, on them. You know, and then coming out and forcing a turnover and, and, and just a defensive touchdown in general is a huge momentum booster for, for our defense and for our team. So when you come out and you're able to have, you know, two touchdowns in the span of you know, 30, 40 seconds, it's, it's awesome and, and great for our team. Been a rough couple weeks with the weather and, and everything. Uh, you guys think you'll be able to uh, um, get everything uh, psyched up and ready to go here for this week's game playing UC? Yeah, it's always different uh, against UC. Um, obviously, we haven't beaten them in a, in a long time. Um, so this week is always, always different for us, um, no matter, you know, rain, snow, Sunny, whatever it is, we're always excited to go down to Nipper and have a chance to beat UC. Matt, what would it be for this program to, to pick up a win against the Bearcats? It would be huge. I mean, obviously, like I said, haven't beaten them in you know 16, 17 years. Um, it's it's a type of game that helps you as a team and as a as a player individually. Everybody on this team helps you leave a legacy here in Miami. Um, you know, and to to show fans that you know if we're able to do this, it, it's a big momentum shift um, for us, for Miami football, and to go out there and, and, to, and to beat UC would be, you know, a great thing for this program. Obviously, the weather pushed everything back. Your schedule's probably been a bit of a mess, but have you had a chance to look at the UC offense yet, and, and what do, what kind of challenges did they bring? Yeah, I was, I was watching a little bit of film last night. Um, offensively, they, they got a good old line. Um, they got a bunch of skilled guys they like to get the ball to out in space, out in the perimeter. Um, they got a transfer quarterback that's, that's very good. Um, 
he's completed I think 78 percent of his passes he's you know doing a lot a lot a lot of good things and throwing the ball um utilizing his legs he's a good runner um and those run his, their running back is tough um you know he breaks a lot of tackles uh, and he's he's a very good downhill runner um very good in the box uh great agility great acceleration out, out in the perimeter um so we're gonna have to be able to tackle him um, and then obviously cover down their skill guys. They got great, great receivers, um, good tight ends um, overall. So, you know, overall, they're, they're a very good team. Defensively, I don't know much, but uh, offensively, they're, they're going to be good.